Hello and welcome back to another tutorial with me, Pankamar Andy. So today we are going to be continuing the A to Z of the enchantments. Don't forget that if you have missed any of the videos up until now, they will be in the playlist and available on my channel. We have covered from the basics of enchanting all the way the A to Z up to loyalty. So if you've missed any of that, don't forget to check out the videos and it will help you guys with any missing information that you currently have. So, first of all, today we are starting off with a look of the sea. Now, look of the sea is a fishing enchantment. Uh, so, it's applied to fishing rods only. This enchantment uh, increases the chance to catch treasures from the sea and reduces what is known as junk. Uh, the enchanted fishing rods can all and enchant known as junk, and you can also get enchanted fishing rods and enchanted boats at a higher rate. Um, also with higher levels as well, the higher the level of Lock of the Sea, and it does come with one to three levels. Now this can be combined, and I often do it, with Allure and Mending, which is the enchantment afterwards. So if you combine it with Lure, Lure comes in th one to three levels. Lure decreases the time that you wait for items to be available to catch using the fishing rod. Uh, but if you've got look of the sea applied or not, it just reduces the waiting time and it is a fishing rod only enchantment. Mending is the next one we're moving on to. Obviously, you combine it with lure and look of the sea, chances are you will not break the fishing rod because it will just constantly top up and you'll get XP as well. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, what I generally have on my fishing rods is look of the sea, lure, mending. So, look of the sea, lure. And unbreaking levels three on all of them, and then mending, you will get pretty much an infinite, uh, an unbreakable fishing rod. Mending. So let's get on to mending and talk about it. So mending can be applied to helmet, chest plate, leggings, pants, turtle shell, elytra, pickaxe, sword, axe, shovel, hoe, shield, flint and steel, shears, a fishing rod, whooped. Uh, uh, carrot on a stick, warped fungus on a stick, trident, bow, and crossbow. It's almost all. It's just the mob heads and car pumpkin it can't be applied to. So what does mending do? So mending does actually repair your tools. So it does what it says in tin. However, it's from XP um, that the player will receive, not what the player already has. Um, so it uses the XP from that to repair items. So if you've currently got, say, seven levels on you and you need an item repairing, you cannot use them seven levels to repair the item. You have to either go kill a mob, collect things from furnaces, go fishing, all the things that you normally do to go and get ores, uh, to get um, XP, to then use that, that XP you are getting to repair the item. Um, just a side note, there's only one thing this cannot be used in conjunction with, and that is infinity on a bow. So you have the option of mending or infinity. Personally, because I have mob farms that produce arrows uh, at a really high rate, and I have far too many arrows, I generally choose mending over uh, infinity. Because uh, I'm never really going to run out of arrows. Next, we have a multi-shot. Now, multi-shot is a crossbow enchantment. Uh, this allows uh, basically either three arrows or fireworks to be shot, uh, firework rockets to be shot at once, but only costing the player one of each. So if you shoot three arrows, it'll only cost you one arrow. If you shoot three fire rockets, it'll cost you one. Uh, this enchantment cannot be used at the same time as our next enchantment, piercing. Piercing comes in four different levels, uh, one to four. And this is, once again, a crossbow only enchantment. And this allows uh, arrows to pass through multiple entities. And this does include shields in the block position. This enchantment, like I say, cannot be used with multi-shot. Uh, so note, each level means how many extra mobs it will pass through. So piercing one will go through one mob to kill the next. Piercing four will go through four and then kill the one after it as well. It also goes through blocks as well, as far as I'm aware. Next, we have power. 
So it comes in five different levels and is a bow enchantment. What this does is it deals more damage to mobs when fired. Uh, a fully charged bow with a critical uh, hit and having power 5 will do 25 damage points. Uh, which means that the majority of mobs would be a one hit kill uh, using power 5 plus um, power 5 plus a critical hit. A critical hit is pretty much jumping and firing at the same time. Um, yeah, that is pretty much a critical hit <laughs> on Minecraft. It's not to do with headshots or anything. Um, but yeah, other than that, um, that is it for today's episode. We have just two more episodes left in the series. Don't forget, um, if you have not checked any of the Enchantment series out, to be sure to do so. Tomorrow we will be starting on Projectile Protection. Um, and this is where the clarification in my previous tutorials of when I've said protection on its own as to why there is a different one there um, don't forget to tune in tomorrow at midday uh, UK time to watch the next video and also if you've missed the rest of the videos don't forget to check them out as well also don't forget to leave a like share comment subscribe if you are happy to do so and I've been enjoying the content and I will see you guys in the next one Bye.